Friday. It's a great day to be at Metro Tech. I was thinking the number one ingredient um, for the greatness at Metro Tech is our people. That, that's what makes Metro Tech um, so great and, and, and wonderful. Um, thinking of that, you may hear some noise in the background today as we uh, do our Friday weekly update as there is some remodeling um, going on as well as some cleaning going on in the BCC. And so if you hear some banging, some knocking, that's what's going on. It's the sound of progress and it's, and it's wonderful. But our, our people, number one ingredient for um, the greatness. I, I think of uh, Derek Lawless who is over facilities maintenance, custodial transportation. Um, they've been so busy uh, this week. Uh, with the weather and things that are going on. Um, Derek, thank you so much for your, your leadership with that. David Martin over operations as, as well. And it, 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 takes, it takes a team, right? I mean, it, it takes all of us. I, I, I think of um, Kim Gordon and the, the grounds crew and that, that team done a great job plowing um, the snow and being able to get into um, the parking lot. Um, we have had uh, some um, water pipes that have have busted throughout some buildings and um, in ITC and, and we're working on that and cleaning that up. Um, grounds crew was able to clear the snow out of the way so that we could get equipment and people in access. Um, really appreciate um, Mike Hoyer and the maintenance um, team. Um, David Hopkins, I know has been um, busy, our custodial teams as well, um, Bill Sparrow, um, them cleaning out, um, cleaning up throughout the, the district, um, Crystal Scott and our bus drivers getting transportation and the buses rolling um, on, on Friday to make sure that everything is a go for um, Monday, preparing and, and cleaning so that we are prepared to have faculty, staff, students on campus on Monday. Um, number one ingredient, people so thank you so much and that ingredient with with people though is also our students and our clients and our partners our faculty and staff um, our community um, that's what met, makes metro tech such a wonderful place i know it's about been a challenging week uh, for all who would have ever thought the new normal is teaching during rolling blackouts but thank you teachers, thank you so much for enduring and continuing to teach. And those, we had to work from home this week and continue to work. Our students continuing to learn. Thank you so much that no matter what comes our way, um, we are able to continue to provide services uh, to our, our students and our partners and our clients. That, that's, the, that's great, that number one in, ingredient. Um, it's February. We've been celebrating and sharing stories concerning Black History Month. I um, want to make sure that uh, you have then on your calendar February 25th. Um, through Zoom. There'll be um, two times, 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. of a presentation. That presentation is called um, Blacks in Government. I hope you put that on your calendar. I'm really excited to be able to see that presentation on um, February um, 25th, again, um, entitled Blacks in um, Government. February is also CTE month. And so let us share our stories on social media and with each other um, concerning um, the impact that CTE um, and our students and alumni, faculty and staff have, and, and Metro Tech has on our community. What, what great benefits um, CTE has. So grateful for Stacy um, post Bell's um, sharing a story, recently shared her recollection of two students um, one of those being Oklahoma County Sheriff um, Tommy Johnson, um, and, and an alumnus of Metro. Um, he's alumnus of Metro Tech. Also, another story that she shared is a, a former LPN instructor, um, Jasmine Walker, um, who's soon going to be a nurse practitioner, um, and they are both former students of Mrs. Um, Tor um, Mrs. Tori Woolahan. And so that that's great. Stories like that that we need to share out and tell and scream about and talk about the wonderful ingredient that we have here at um, Metro Tech people. 
Thank you to the Metro Tech accreditation, um, accreditation team. I'm grateful for Randa Parang um, overseeing that task. That task totally completed. And the Career Tech Board stamped their approval on it yesterday in their monthly meeting. And so we're grateful for that. Um, thank you to um, Superintendent Hoffmeister, as well as um, Dr. Mack, as well as um, Career uh, Tech that uh, really helped us through that process. I just want to say two names that were really helpful through that. Justin um, Lockwood, as well as Jessica Ventress uh, from Oklahoma Career Tech, um, did a great job walking us, us through that, that process. And then Randa and the planning that went with that, um, keeping us focused on the task. Um, really appreciate everyone's patience and support through the accreditation process. Number one ingredient, again, Metro Tech and our people. During our accreditation process, over um, 50 different business industry and stakeholders involved in assisting us in our continuous improvement. And it was so great for that participation. And um, we'll be uh, looking at that. So we now have an official document from the state um, that was given to the, uh, to the technology board yesterday and presented. Again, it was approved. I'm going to be giving that to um, our directors today and then we'll be giving that out to, um, to everyone, to our faculty and staff, um, to be able to look at that as well so that everyone sees. If you remember, um, we did send out the, the PowerPoint presentation when we first got that through the accreditation. Now we have a full document and we'll be sending that out to you as well. Just a reminder, thinking about boards, thinking about the, about the Metro Tech um, District School Board meeting being um, Tuesday, February 23rd at 5.30, that is virtual. And so um, we will be virtually. You can see that live on the Metro Tech YouTube channel. And so um, we'll be able to do that on February 23rd. I do want to uh, make a personal comment. Um, do thank you for the texts, the emails, the cards, and the prayers um, about my fall that I had. I, I had a fall on Monday, February the 8th. I was a little bit more bruised and scratched up last week. Um, better today, so, so thank you for that and for your concern. Uh, I'm doing well. I, I did um, have to get um, glued uh, and uh, taped back together uh, but, uh, and had a concussion as well, but I feel really good and um, grateful and, and thank you for your, your care and again for your, your, your texts, emails, cards uh, and, and prayers. We're greatly appreciated and thank you so much for that. Spring is around the corner. Come spring, come. We're ready for you. The sun is shining, the snow is melting and let us stay safe, clean and calm during this continued pandemic. But in all things we do, Metro Tech for life.